All right, welcome to Tuesday. I'm David, a.k.a. Ultra David. And I'm James, a.k.a. J. Chen Zor. A.k.a. James Chen now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've tried, man. I keep trying, but they won't let me keep, they won't let me keep my nickname. So. Pretty much, pretty much. Um, no music today because we got a <laughs> takedown notice last week for some music that was explicitly public domain. It's from a website that explicitly only streams public domain radio Dude, that is to say not copyrighted works it's literally, it's literally a it's a public foundation that has been it's this uh this uh uh non-profit that only gathers non-copyrighted works and plays them so that you can avoid exactly this situation the, the site is literally called public domain org. that's the one and, that's the um, one and guess not. <laughs> I guess it was playing Miles Davis. Oh, was it the Miles Davis that Miles triggered? Davis. It wasn't playing. Are you serious? It's from like. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't playing that, but that's what the automated thing said. And, uh. I don't know. <laughs> I guess. Awesome. I guess machinery knows more than an intellectual property lawyer <laughs> <laughs> using a, an explicitly public domain stream. So. Alright, shout outs to Twitch. Yep. Well, anyway, in any we case, have some other stuff to talk about today. That's right. For example, there are some tournaments that happen. You can see them all over on the side right here. You're getting good at this. <laughs> I, but, I, but last time I said on the right. But it's oh, actually on the left. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so gotcha, on the left gotcha. here. Makes sense. Um, makes sense. Absolute Battle 5 and CACOMP down in Brazil. Um, then we're going to talk about the Smash patch that came out a little bit. Get into that some, some of that. Talk about a new fighting game. Mm -hmm. we'll talk about, uh, extendedly talk about. Um, the games that will be at Old 37 games. Reloaded this Old weekend. Old games. Exactly. Old games. Third Strike, ST, CVS 2. I don't know anything about Marvel 2, but if you want to talk about it, go ahead. I can try. I can try. And if a Magnetro was out there and he was watching me, he would probably try to murder me through the stream mm -hmm. because he's like the god of the game. But mm -hmm. I mean, the technical god of the game. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the nice thing about it is it's it's very based off of MVC3. So we can go off of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no, <laughs> dude, I'm going to get killed by so many MVC2. But, but I mean, like, concepts of having multiple assists, teams, okay. calls, super jumps. Okay, but that I mean, the assists thing. are pretty different. You know, they're. they're yeah, 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 yeah. Effect for, sure. Is... for sure. Anyway. People are going to kill me now. Probably. Because I just said MVC2 is based off of MVC3. Yeah, it's not even the right I way mean, around. I mean, I mean, we have a starting point because people know MVC3 so that we can... Okay, never mind. Well, Sorry. okay, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about Absolute Battle oh, yeah, 5. By the way, just so oh. you guys know, uh, later on today we will be giving out this poster here. This is the Tournament of Legends poster. You can see. Signed yeah. by everybody who was there. I think there's only one missing person on there. But uh, we will be giving this out in honor of Super Turbo being at Reloaded. I awesome. think Is it Justin Wong is the only one that's not signed? Oh, Nuki, too. Justin Wong doesn't have a signature on this. Good job, Justin. <sighs> Guy's so Hollywood, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that'll be given out at some point. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we will do that. So talk about that more as the show progresses. Yeah. Shout, shout outs to, of course, uh, Bob Painter for giving me that mm -hmm. to give away. So yeah, um, you could follow him. I think he's at, was it SF Two Karopi? I think it is. On, Two P's. Yes, on Twitter. So there you go. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Absolute Battle Five. You, you have a kind of a plain shirt today. Oh yeah. See, look, I got my big band shirt here. See, I, so I, I mentioned last week there's that sale on 86.com to you get all the that. all the um, Skullgirl shirts that are going to be out. You know that will be disappear forever by the end of November. So right, yeah. get that if you can. But you know you, you look awfully plain today, I, David. I'm, uh, I'm curious why. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the answer to that is that actually this was an undershirt that I was wearing mm -hmm, okay. with a uh, you know a pretty nice. A pretty nice sweater over it, I, I think. It's got some nice little stripes and stuff. It's mm -hmm. pretty nice. Um, I'd taken it off because, you know, I was in my office and I was all warm and stuff. So, mm -hmm. all right, fine. so then as I'm leaving my office, I, st I had it, I was carrying it, right? Mm -hmm. And I went to take a whiz. And um, as, <laughs> as I was accomplishing that... <laughs> <laughs> accomplishing that, okay. Uh, I, uh, I might have dropped that sweater into the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> and so... It's not exactly the same color that it was <laughs> when I first put it on this morning. 
<laughs> so I decided to just go with the old with the gray. Shirt. Okay, I appreciate that. Actually, I'm very. You should. Very, you should. Very thankful you, for that. It would have mattered for you. Believe oh me. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody else at home could smell it, but. <laughs> but it would know. have been a big deal for me. <laughs> I would have been washing all the couches and stuff <laughs> afterwards. I would have been like, um, okay. <laughs> Uh, even yeah. David, the homeless man, dude, you know, would totally have smelled like the homeless dude. So, uh, can I can I talk about the tournaments now? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, anything okay, else okay. to bring up? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. So. All right. <laughs> Absolute Battle Five in Dallas. That's right. Streamed all on Panda X Gaming, if I'm not mistaken, right? All, all everything that I watched was okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, great job to to Panda. I always like seeing him come out to streams. Yeah, yeah. He lives in Arkansas, so I don't think it's that easy for him to get around to majors. But this is a big one. That's I think they said about six or seven hours away from where he lives, so nice. he could make it out there. Yeah, I know he's trying to do a lot more streaming stuff. So I mean, if you guys are in the area, if you guys are anywhere around there, and you're looking for a accomplished streamer, you know, you can always hit up uh, Panda X Gaming. I'm sure they'd be happy to stream your events. So indeed, yeah. indeed. All right, well, uh, you want to just talk about Street Fighter, I guess, first? Yep, let's do it. Uh, is the most important game not there? They didn't have it listed. Not on not on SRK. So. Oh. Yeah, I know. Oh. I know. That's sad. I wipe my <laughs> eyes a little bit. Um, all right, so top eight, starting out from the eight. Type mm-hmm. seventh were Joe Love, Cody, and Rain, G-O-L Rain, with Yun, Viper, and Guile. Then fifth places were VGP Integra with Ken, uh, b Sida with Ken and Ryu, then fourth place was Joel Ramasama okay. with DiCaprio. Oh, only, nice. As far as I know, oh, only with DiCaprio, okay. not with I mean, Rufus. He's one of the best DiCaprios right now oh, yeah. in the States, for sure. So. I, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Um, DL White Tower Hamad with uh, Faye. Then mm-hmm. second place was EG Ricky Ortiz right. with Rufus and Poison. And then Unsigned Snake Eyes with Zengief won the whole thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did you see the grand finals? Did I, you see the winner's finals? I missed it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what I know... Is that Ricky did put Snake Eyes in the losers bracket on the winners finals? Correct? Yes, I saw. Yeah, yeah, and then Snake Eyes had to come back and reset it and win. Right? That, that's correct. So, okay, that's okay. correct. Yeah, and yeah. and uh, it was really close. I mean, you know, obviously, I guess that's what you would expect. I, I feel mm-hmm, like these mm-hmm. these two players are probably top five in the world at footsies. Yeah, yo, yeah, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, if not okay. five, like right like right outside. <laughs> They're like yeah, right yeah. in there as far as best in the world for footsies go. Um, so predictably, it was a really, really strong footsies match. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. You know, it was, a, it was an interesting highlight a lot of people pointed out. An interesting uh, um, uh, difference a lot of people pointed out compared to the grand finals from just the previous week from Canada Cup. Okay. Where okay. it was Pepe Day and, and Punko kind of getting in there and bam, 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 bam. <laughs> right. This one was just, was very patient. Um, each button counted. Each button mattered a lot. Uh, and I thought it was really fascinating to watch. That's cool. Okay, I, okay, I, I mean, okay. I really like Zangi versus Rufus. <clears throat> I know that it's a frustrating matchup to play. I believe me, I've played it. Right, right, right. Okay, and it can be a little bit frustrating to watch because it's slower paced. Well, very, very slow paced. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. definitely true. Uh-huh. But... There, there is such intention behind all the buttons, mm-hmm. and in fact, behind mm-hmm. when you're not pressing buttons too. And I, I feel like it really creates a lot of uh, stress for the players, stress for people watching. There's a lot of anticipation. There's a lot of anxiety going on because at any moment it can change. And so many of the rounds went down to timeout or just before timeout right. to like panic right before timeout decisions. And they, they, bo- you know, both players stole. Both players stole rounds. Like, there was this one round. It sounds like it was really similar to that 25th LA one, right? Because a lot of things went to timeouts and such like that as well. For sure. There was a round where that that Ricky stole where um, it looked like Snake Eyes was going to steal it. (laughs) He landed like an EX hand or something. And then he tried to jump back to get away, and Ricky was like, jump roundhouse! Like, right, like, last second. Okay. And then instead of doing Ultra, she did just EX snakes, because Ultra would have taken too long. Oh! It was, like, so clutch. It was like that oh, much time. Oh, that's so it's smart, ridiculous. dude. That's yeah, so, so, smart. so smart. So uh, smart. Okay. Okay. Anyway, they both played it really, really well. Nice. I, nice. It was just a real treat for me to watch. That's that's the kind of thing that I like most. I would say in Street Fighter Four, that that kind of patient, intentional play, I really like. Yeah. Sorry, so. I'm. Just, I was trying to bring up a picture that uh that that Snake Eyes retweeted out, which made me laugh. So okay. Because, uh, so I want to see if I can get that onto the the, the stream here. Hang on, guys. 
Well, while you're doing that, um, sure. let me also say that I was I was impressed by um, Hamad's play as Faye. Mm-hmm. Did you see the exhibition between him and uh, Snake Eyes? I watched a bit of it on okay. not okay. the whole thing. Okay. Um, it was, I believe, five to one in the end. Let me okay. let me confirm that. Yeah, it was five to one. Now, Hamad said on Twitter that it was not a lopsided five one, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which I can definitely believe. Um, but uh, but Snake. I think sent him out of the tournament or beat him at some point. Yeah, Snake Eyes in losers finals. Oh beat, yeah, yeah, that one makes sense. That one makes sense. Beat him three to one. That's um, Snake Eyes is just so good in footsies. You know, yeah. he wins. Here you go. Those situations too many yeah, times. So here we go. Here's the picture here of the pads. So you can see how Snake Eyes sets his buttons. Actually, here, let me do something for you guys so you might be able to see it a little bit better. See if I can actually make this work. Dude, the. The best part about that, I think, is is a little bit hidden. Oh, really? Yeah, like the... <laughs> okay. Well, if you guys can't see, like, this is a normal thing, button thing here, which shows, like, light punch, medium punch, heavy punch, whatever. And then this is how Snake Eyes sees his buttons. What you can see here is the SPD button, the whiff punish button, and the lariat buttons, which is, like, the best thing. And then, of course, he has no up button. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he has, okay. <laughs> he has no jump. <laughs> and I, I'm not sure why, but, like... Some characters like have their faces blurred and stuff like that. I don't know what that means, but that oh. might have just been a mistake or something. I'm not like sure what that, that's about. But yeah. yeah, but yeah. So there you go. But that is pretty Dude. pretty accurate uh, depiction of how Snake Eyes plays Street Fighter. So yeah, Oops, yeah. There you go. He's really really good. Yep. Um, yeah, and, and I liked I liked uh, Ramasama's Decapri. It's cool to see people doing work with that character. Yeah. I, it was a cool tournament to watch. Okay. Cool. Um, F Champ was ninth with Sim, also Chaotix, Dudley, Curvylicious, Ch- I'm sorry, Chewylicious, Rufus, and um, Josue Yang. Yeah, I believe Snake Eyes also won Marvel that took place at the event. I'm sorry, not Snake Eyes. <laughs> Filipino Champ. <laughs> Filipino I don't think Champ. So, but, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, let's talk about Marvel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Filipino Champ won that one, if I'm not mistaken, right? You are correct. Okay. He did. So cool. top eight from the bottom BT Angelic, Wolvie Dorm Shuma, and Firebrand Dorm Shuma. Uh, although I think he only played Wolvie, the Wolvie team in top eight. Well, he only was in there for yeah, one game. Yeah. But, um, anyway, Jumpman with Chris, Amy, Wesker, also seventh. Fifth were Donka with uh, Zero Doom, Iron Man, Spencer, Iron Man, Doom, and Magneto, Jill, Iron Man. Yeah, I saw that Jill team. That was, that was cute. Uh, VGP <laughs> Fonzo with Zero, Magneto, Phoenix. Controls Ray Ray got fourth place. Magneto, mm-hmm. Doom, Sentinel. Um, Rubix got third nice. with Scroll. Spencer Modok, and then second place, we already mentioned first place, second place was Boost Jan with Hulk Shuma Hagar and Hagar Doom Shuma. Yeah, shout outs to Jan, of course, For doing sure. amazing again. I mean, he's he's pretty much one of the main threats of Marvel now. He's, so, like he's so good now. Yeah. So, I mean, this is two tournaments in a row, I think, that he got second place. He got second at TFC to Flux, if I'm not mistaken, but he's made it to grand finals in both of those events. And, um, I mean... Seriously, like I just want to take a little minute shout out to Filipino Champ for playing in the event and and actually doing really well. Uh, if you guys follow Filipino Champ's Twitter a lot, you know that you know he's super close to his grandma, and like they're they're like he's he he cares about her so much. She passed away while he was at uh, Absolute Battle, and he basically could barely play for the first day, um, but. You know, he he powered through it and uh, still won Marvel, so that's that's pretty impressive. So shout outs to him. Shout yeah, to definitely him. not not good news. Sorry to hear about yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, that definitely sucks. Um, but yeah, you know he he still he still played well. Jan, um, he got fifth at Evo. He did pretty well there. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. So nice. yeah, he's definitely really really good. I'm always happy to see Rubex do well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Team is so it's so like unconventional. He's the it's one so that did super well at CEO as well, right? I think I th- he did he, do really well. Because I remember at CEO. commentating, and someone, I think it was Rubex, was the guy who beat like all these gods mm-hmm. yeah, like yeah, one yeah. after another. I think you're right. And such yeah. I think you're right. Um, I really enjoyed, by the way, the exhibitions. Um, oh yeah. You okay. know that is not my favorite game. But, right, 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 right. But uh-huh. I really really like watching Jan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I really, really like watching Ray Ray because oh. they, they have his his movement's ridiculous to me. Mm-hmm. Ray Ray's movement mm-hmm. is ridiculous. Um, so they played. Mm-hmm. They had a set, and it was a it was a really good set. It was seven to five. Um, 
I really liked a lot of the stuff that went on. The neutral game was interesting, actually, and I thought yeah, it was I mean, really cool. Here's man. the interesting thing about Marvel is that I feel like the exhibitions show off the the neutral game, the footsies, a lot more than than the you know than the standard tournament matches. I actually feel, starting to feel like Ultimate Marvel Three is a really good exhibition game hmm. because of kind of it's a little bit crazy. But at the same time, like at the highest level of play, and when you have the opportunity to adapt to your opponent, you get to see a little bit more of that stuff going on. So, yeah, yeah. it was it was awesome. It yeah. was awesome. Um, so okay, that's cool. Uh, Electrified Man won DOA Five Ultimate. Mm -hmm. Persona Four Arena Ultimax won by Sunfish. Killer Instinct won by my guy eighty eight. Okay, okay. 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 F oh, champ got second with Glacius. Wow. Okay, okay. That's cool. Wobbles won melee with Ice Climbers. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> good that's stuff. What I'm good about. stuff to Wobbles. And that's yeah. all the results that I have. Okay. But cool. it was it was cool. It seemed like a good event. I'm glad to see that there are a couple of uh, big events in Texas nowadays. It seemed like it went a while without there being a mm -hmm. like a legit one. Well, I mean, they also have Texas Showdown. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That uh, that and this. Okay, I'm happy okay. to see that they have a couple, cool, as opposed cool. to gotcha, like, gotcha, sort of they had a dearth of it before. Right. Very cool, very cool. Um, so also this past weekend, there was a really big event down in Brazil. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the one of the TOs, you know, uh, emailed us, and we talked about it last week, but he said that this is like the biggest event that he's thrown, certainly okay. in, in Brazil. He said that it was like four times larger than the previous event and such, so a lot of people helping out with that, a lot of sponsors helping out with that, so really cool to see that that scene continues to grow and grow, so... And they flew Dominion out. To they that. did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they flew Dominion. It was really cool. So yeah. for sure. Yeah. Okay. So top eight were uh, again from the bottom: SOA Ibuki Man and SFT Dark Eight One Seven. Those are seventh places. Fifth place: AAG Baby Brazil, tied Dominion. <laughs> Fifth place. Yeah. Uh, that's that's you know I'm always rooting for the Americans, but I'm also kind of like. Always happy for the local crew when, oh, they, yeah, yeah, when yeah. they beat uh -huh, the, uh -huh. the foreigner. Especially if you look at who the top three are. In, so okay, in so event, right? so fourth so, place yeah. was FCBR Dark Tha Dark Thi, um, and he used. I just got a bunch of intel on this thanks to various folks. Okay. Uh, he played Yun. He used Yun. Oh, that okay. is. Okay. Uh, okay. For, third place was CNB Choo Choo, who we will see more of mm -hmm. at the Capcom Cup. That's right. He played with Sakura Chun and Viper. Second place was Breno Fighters, who we have seen do on the past and qualified for Capcom Cup <laughs> last, last year, year yeah. but there were some legal visa issues mm -hmm. that uh, prevented him from actually coming to the U.S. so he couldn't be here. And the winner of the whole thing was Kaoma with Abel. Right. Now, a lot of people haven't heard of Kaoma, yeah. uh, you know, outside of Brazil, but apparently every tournament is always Kaoma, Choo Choo, and Breno Fighters, top three. So it's those three guys always kind of battling it out. So they're the main, they're, they're the big guns there in Brazil. And Kaoma is an able player, right? Correct. So able won a tournament then. I was really impressed. By oh, yeah. Play. I, I didn't get a chance to see any. I, I, didn't get a I chance, really so. recommend checking it out because okay, okay. it, was, it was really impressive. I yeah. really thought he had just, he, so he played, he played against Breno Fighters mm -hmm. in the grand finals. Yeah. Cami, able versus Cami. A really bad matchup for Abel. Yeah, it's yeah, a really yeah, tough yeah. Uh, one. Oh yeah. By the way, someone's asking what tournament this was. This is the Kakamp tournament in Brazil. Yeah. Right? Oh, the, so. maybe I didn't say the actual name, but it was Kakamp uh, Arena. Yeah. yeah seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. In uh, in Brazil, um, in Brasilia, I think to be precise, if I if I heard correctly. Um, anyway, so yeah, Kaoma, just excellent spacing game. Really, really good confirms. He he confirms things that I don't see very often. I mean, I've I've mm. played a lot against. Some top ables. They're like some of my main training partners online. Oh, fact. right. Some yeah, of like okay. the best ones in the U.S. They almost never do step kick, confirm counter hit, step kick again, dash towards, stand fierce, blah, blah, blah. Oh, blah, blah. dang. I've seen them. I don't know that I've, that I've ever seen them do that, to be, to be quite honest. I don't even know it worked, it, to be it honest. It does work. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, and he, was, he gets it like just... Whenever he sees the counter whenever, hit. Whenever yeah. it's there. So like he, there's this very mm -hmm. short window where you have to make a decision between whether to press... Fierce medium or kick or fierce. fierce. Yeah, uh-huh. And uh, I guess he's good with it, so it was really... Hey, put, the comp put the training mode dummy on uh, on random counter hit right. and go for it and right. see if you can get it. So I mean, the nice thing about really, it is you really have really that good. little dash window 
to react to see whether or not they got counter hit or not. So right. you have a reactable window. Right. I mean, if it was just like straight up, yeah, it would be really hard. But it's just like Cami, Low Fierce, Ultra, and stuff like that, right? You can kind of react to it on that one hit. So that's really cool. That yeah. That's really, really cool. Um, he had a, by the way, this is not in the tournament, but he had a really good set against Sacco at some mm -hmm. point. I don't remember how long ago this was. Um, I guess it was in 2012 because it was Sacco with Buki. And it was a really, really good close set, and they both made a lot of really good decisions. Nice. And anyway, he just—I was very impressed by his play. I, I've seen some of Breno fighters. I've seen mm -hmm. some of Chuchu. Right, I don't right. think I had seen Kaoma. Yeah, honestly, I hadn't heard of him until this event. Yeah. So, so yeah. anyway, I just—I was really impressed. I thought yeah, it was awesome. But I was glad because as soon as he won, a lot of people immediately tweeted out to us, and they're like, "Yo, if you talk about this, he's one of the best out there. He's always." In the top three with those other guys so shout outs to everybody for giving us all this information oh, yeah. all the time so for sure yeah. and and again the u.s sends somebody to another country and we don't do that great <laughs> it's yeah. been happening lately it's yeah, yeah, happened yeah. now in south america it happened in europe a couple of times hey it's that's fantastic because i just feel like a lot of these other scenes you know they need to to get on the map because they have these great players and and some of these guys like Kaoma who a lot of people here haven't heard of has been really good for a very long time so it's exciting to see that kind of thing yes yes we are from the states and it's sad you know but at the same time I like seeing this like yeah. I would love to see like a lot of the Kuwaiti players start beating up on everybody you know sure. the European players have already been beating up on everybody it's been happening <laughs> exactly the South America you know just every every place and it, it's exciting it's always exciting to me when scenes grow you know what I mean because right now everyone always kind of blanketly talks about Asia US and Europe, mm -hmm. but you know it's 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 unfair to a lot of those other scenes. So it'll be really cool, you know, to see now it's instead of just having U.S. It's it's North America versus South America, right? You know, and like France versus Germany versus England instead of blanket Europe, you right, know, what yeah, I mean? yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. So anyway, yeah, I totally okay. agree. There's more than enough good players down in yeah. uh, in South America. So yeah, uh, that was very cool. Yep, for sure, for sure. Um, well, I don't have results for this, so whatever. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so um, I know uh, Level Up ran the second online warrior championship for uh, Killer Instinct yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think um, CD Jr. won it again. And uh, this time, yeah. second place went to Rigo Suave. And uh, Tyrant, I believe, got third? Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, oh, so no, it was Rebello. That's right. That's right. Rebello got second, yeah. yeah so yeah. CD Jr. won the whole thing with Maya. Rebello second with Combo, uh, Rico Suave, Mortality Rico Suave, with Thunder and Spinal mm -hmm. got third place, Hitbox Tyrant fourth with Spinal, Gnarly Feats fifth with Orchid also fifth, Paul B with Saber Wolf, and then seventh places were Dayton J, Saber Wolf, and C88 Bison again with Saber Wolf. Okay. Yeah, dude, Tyrant versus Rebello in winner's bracket was a, such a sick match. Yeah? It was a really, really, really good match, actually. It was kind of exciting, so um, really good stuff going on there. Um, I don't know what it was, like, because it's online, right? Yeah. But at one point, Rebello just had this great start and, like, taunted Tyrant. And so Tyrant just started going taunt happy. And oh yeah! He would, like he, like it turned, it, it fired something up in him. Like I, I guess maybe he lost in the run back, or maybe he lost to Rico Suave, or even CD Junior at some point in time. But uh, obviously, because Rebello got all the way up back to second. But yeah, Tyrant, and the way I mean, I'm spoiler. He won, he won it. But the way that he won it, you know how TJ Combo works, right? You have no idea how TJ. Combo. He's like Phoenix. So if he has his full instinct meter. And he dies, he comes back with a tiny chunk of life, and he keeps fighting. Okay. So it's kind of like, you know, Mercy. You remember how you uh, Mortal Kombat 3, I think, had Mercies and, like, Killer... Okay, never mind. <laughs> but TJ Combo comes back, but um, Spinal has a super that drains instinct. And, like, ah. he hit him with it right at the end and threw him. The throw gave him the instinct to revive, but it's like Phoenix, how if the move that kills you is the one that gives it to you, it doesn't count. Wow. So he killed him with the throw, gave him the instinct, but he died before the instinct was able to trigger. So it was really cool. Was All really right. Cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, so as I, as I was watching, I did watch this, even though I don't know that much about the game. I watched mm -hmm. the, a, quite a bit of it at, at the end. Um, the commentators... We're saying that there's like a lot of things going on in the Kai community right now about Maya and like people thinking that she's really, really, really good. <laughs> 
Do you have any info on that? Look, are you, are you I, as into this? soon as I saw Maya and I started messing with her, she was one of the things that was going to make me play the game again because I was like, this character cannot be fair. Like, that's right. how I was thinking in my brain. I don't know what people are doing with her necessarily right now, but she has... So, I tried to explain this. Remember, right? yeah. She has two blades. Yeah. One that if you power up to level... I'll make it simple. So, if you power up to level two, it becomes a homing. So, if you throw it in the air, it actually tracks. This other dagger, if you charge up to level two, becomes unblockable. Mm-hmm. Right? So, if you charge both of them up, you have an unblockable homing dagger that pretty much can't miss. Right, and there are like these long block strings that I feel like you can get locked into. I don't know if that's what CD Junior was doing. I'll have to go back and watch it. But it seemed like the mobility that she had is really, really good too. Like yeah, her yeah, jump yeah. seems kind of ridiculous. Well, she can jump out of dash, so she can dash yeah. jump and she goes further. Right. And, okay. Yeah, that's and what she has three versions of that jump. Okay. So if you dash and go forward flip, she jumps super far. If you just go up, she kind of goes like this. Right. And if you go up back, she kind of goes backwards a little bit, so it's not as useful. But the other two, you can mix up which one she's Seems doing. Seems really good. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that was cool. Um, also, good job on the commentary. Oh, yeah, it yeah. It was uh, Sajam, Steve, and, uh, and uh, oh, man, who else was it? Uh, Godspeed. Yeah, yeah, of course, it was Godspeed. Godspeed. Yeah, yeah. I always want to call him... I always want to call it Sajam because it looks like Sajak. I don't think it matters. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he even wants to be called that anymore. <laughs> he, I mean, he just wants to be FRQ Steve, yeah. right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. But whatever, it's Sajam. Um, anyway, I really thought that they did a good job. Yeah. yeah. Good job to them. They were explanatory and they were interested. Yeah, and, the, and, and of course, they know the game and they're super yeah. hype about it too. So, yeah. I mean, seriously, like, when That's you watch sure. that Tyrant Rebello match, like, they're just lost for words. They're like, it's just like, right. it's, ah! like it's just crazy. So, Well, I, th- I think it's really cool that, that they can sort of get across something that you were worried about in KI commentary uh-huh. about the importance of, of uh, counters and, like, when it happens yeah. to, like, play it up. Like, mm-hmm. this is an important mm-hmm. moment. Yeah. And yeah. they do that all the time. They're, they were talking about how... You know, oh, he went for the counter on the mediums or on the fierces right, or whatever. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's important stuff. I, I and mean, at least they can recognize. When I commentate I the game, to. I can't recognize yeah. him yet. And, I mean, I was told the key is to look at your character while he's getting hit because they reel the same way if they're always hit by mediums or if they're hit by heavies. So you can actually oh. learn how to break without knowing your opponent's moves oh. just by watching how your character reels and stuff like that. But even that I'm not familiar with yet enough, so... Okay, okay. Well, anyway, I thought that was cool. I'm glad that they can play that game in tournaments online. I wish that every game could do that. Oh, yeah. Hopefully someday. Mm -hmm. Anything else to talk about with events? Uh, Not that I can think of. Not that. That we'll I talk about upcoming know. events later, but that's it. that's it for recaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So cool. I guess we'll take a quick break and we'll come back. We'll talk about the Smash patch. And again, um, later on this episode, we're going to talk about all of, like the four main old games that are going to be at Reloaded Thirty Seven and kind of do a quick, if we can, we'll quick see. rundown of the game. So stick around for that, and we will be right back. <laughs> 